Sorting out if you should quit your job or stay the course is a daunting decision for many employees who were able to work from home during the pandemic but are now feeling pulled back into the office environment. So how do you know if it's just to return to work that's growing pains or a bigger issue that might require a bigger decision? Joining us in studio to help sort it out is our peak performance coach, Hina Khan. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, this is a very fascinating discussion. I think yes. a lot of Canadians are going to be feeling uh, how can you tell if your work is no longer the right fit? It's such a great question because studies show that the longer Canadians worked from home, the less likely it was they wanted to return to work. And they also felt that they were productive. So is it a case of, I found my groove, I'm in my comfort zone that I don't want to go back, or have I outgrown it? So one thing that you can do, and this may seem completely counterintuitive, is to allow yourself to quit. Don't be sending in your resignation notice. I'm just saying in your mind. Give yourself the space to say, I could leave if I want to. And then you can really think about your role. And maybe there is a future there. Maybe there is more growth to happen there. Or maybe you have outgrown it. But that is one way to gain clarity. Yeah, that's fantastic. To even yes. just say to yourself, you can go if yes. you want. Some people don't give themselves that freedom because it's financially stifling to do that. But if you do say, I am going to stay, yes. how then do you make it work? Well, remember, time has passed, so you can change the way that you're going to approach your work now. Maybe before you always worked through lunch. Well, create some space in your day. Also, what about things outside of work? What about feeding your soul? Maybe there are hobbies that you want to do. Maybe you want to do a sports activity. Not me, but maybe you do. Maybe, <laughs> maybe there's somebody that wants to do that. But these are things you can do. And also, remember, you can think of it as a fresh start. You've changed. Your colleagues have changed. So how do you want to show up? Okay, yeah, but what if you've really changed? What if you've decided, I gotta go? Okay, so one of the things I say is your first two weeks and your last two weeks sometimes matter the most at a job. How do you wanna be remembered? You know, you wanna be remembered in a way that you feel proud of and leave in that way. So how can you set up the company? How can you set up your predecessor to do the best that they can? So that's one thing to think about. Okay, uh, what if you're having difficulty Deciding. I mean, what yeah. questions can we ask ourselves to help make that decision a little bit easier? You know, Rashmi, I think the most important question that we can ever ask ourselves is what do I want? If anything is possible, what do I really want? But that's a big question for many people. So you can even start with what would my ideal day look like? Am I working from home? Am I doing this kind of work? How do my days and how, what sort of things am I working on? So these are the types of things that you can do to start to get some clarity around what you want. And there's the, just that freedom, right? Yes. To be able to say, I can claim my own freedom yes. or my own joy. Yes, we're, not, we're conditioned to stifle our wants. And that's why it can be a really tough question. I love that. It brings up so much freedom when you can ask yourself that. Yeah. And so do you find more Canadians are feeling this two and a half years into the pandemic? People are just assessing their situation in life? Absolutely. I think what the pause did, it was an emotional impact, the pandemic. And so much has happened. And it made us think, like, what am I doing? What am I doing? What do I want to do? And I think these are really important questions because we should have a life that is satisfying, that we enjoy and we spend so much of our time at work. So it should be a place that we get joy from being in. Truly, because the motivation yes. in doing a job that you love is that you are performing better at that job as well, right? Some people don't get that. Absolutely, and it doesn't feel like work. And some people don't even realize that you can have choice and that, and that nothing is wasted. Like, we don't want to change things because we're like, but I went to school for that or that's what I've been doing for 20 years. It doesn't mean that it's wasted. We're allowed to grow and evolve and have the next iteration of us. Absolutely. Hina yes. Khan, thank you so much. Thank you. I feel motivated on this Wednesday. <laughs> Perfect. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.